one of the things Miss Serena Williams gave me when she invited me to the U.S. Open. Michael Michelle has a vision with her know-how, her ability, and her faith that there's nothing that this little girl can't do. And I just couldn't believe it. After I finished my audition, I had a standing ovation. It was about a month until my manager called and was like, you got the role. And I literally started crying. This was my first Sears regular. I developed a really big family there. Most of us are still in contact today. Hi, I'm Michael Michelle Harris, actress and fashion designer, if I do say so myself. And this is my day off. <laughs> my fashion line first began because I was searching for clothes and all that kind of stuff, and we just couldn't find them. Especially accessories, bows, glasses, socks. I love socks. So I told my mom, if we can't find it, we need to make it. We're at Mood Fabrics. We are continuing to do our swatching, and we're excited to show you what we do on a regular basis as we get ready to launch a new clothing line. It's very important to uh, make this accessible for all so that they don't have to worry about how they look in school or how they look at a special event. They can know that they're fly. We have 28 designs. For each collection, we have about four or five different designs. And after it's designed, we come in the store like this and we start looking for fabric that can go with these looks. And then it just starts to come alive as we get the swatches. <laughs> Michael Michelle has always been around fashion, even prior to getting into the industry. She's always, always creating. She's a singer, she's an actress, she's a dancer, she's a comedian. Fashion is Michael Michelle. Gold, ooh, that looks cool. Shiny. I like it, it makes me think like candy, winter wonderland okay. like, I think the colors are light, fluffy pastels, but I also see some like chocolates in there. It would be crazy if like, I were walking down the runway with the Candyland outfit. Coming to you live from New York Fashion Week. The theme this year, candy. NMH the brand in their outfit, Candyland. <laughs> We're gonna look at the satin. We are in the right aisle. Kind of if you look right here, uh, we've got yeah. Charmeuse. Yeah. I'd say I wanna wear it to like, either like a red carpet or a party. Okay. Mm -hmm. What shoes would you put with it? Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's where the See, fun really uh, That's where the fun comes when in. When you accessorize it. I think I would do boots. I'm a boot kid. And yeah. some funky socks, which is also why part of our collection will include socks. I'm in charge of the funky socks. Sometimes we can't find what we really want, so we decided if we can't find it, we make it. Sketching out and making what we can't find and what we think is gonna be very useful for the fashion industry. Who told you you were like Serena Williams? Daddy. <laughs> I was like Serena Williams. I had a viral video because I just shoot it and it goes way up the and bam! I was like Serena Williams. <laughs> I was playing tennis with my dad. I was so excited so I ran into the house. I went to my mom. I pulled out my phone and just recorded her because I thought she was so excited and it was cute. It was representation. She saw herself somehow at three years old in Serena Williams. 15 million hits later, here we are and Serena had invited her as a special guest to the U.S. Open, so for her, that was just magical. As the days progressed, it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and then managers, agents, TV shows started calling, so it wasn't like overnight I became a giant pop star, whatever. It was a slightly subtle uphill. All right, you ready? Ready. All right, let me just get a little bit. <laughs> I auditioned with Mixish and something inside just told me like, this, like I have to have this. Like this is, this is gonna be awesome. We got to a call back and I was like, ooh. And so we kept progressing and I told my mom, I have a feeling like this is gonna be the big one. I'm so excited for this one. You might know Sassy Santa Monica. My mom definitely is not allowing any of that sass at home. To have the boldness to play that was a little, little challenging, just a little bit. I don't really get nervous a lot. I just picture that I, I'm doing great. Like this is what I'm meant to be doing. 
At first, I didn't know it was Raven's home, and the, the character's name is Alice. So I thought it was like a reboot of Alice in Wonderland or something. I was excited. A Raven's Home is my favorite show. I've seen all the episodes, every single season. And so when I got the part, I was in awe, shocked, and like ha super happy at the same time. First of all, I get to work with the amazing Miss Raven Simone. Second of all, I get to work on my dream show. Third, it has so many funny gags and all that kind of stuff. And I love behind the scenes of work and all that kind of stuff. I'd say me and Alice are very alike. I'd say we're both the ones you come to for tech advice. We're both kind of like the fashionistas of the family a little bit. An actor that I look up to a lot is Auntie Ray, Miss Raven Simone. She's been in the industry as long as I have. And I'm so thankful and grateful that she has a level-headed person like Raven Simone and give her not only the show side, the business side, but then take all of that away, she gives her the human side. I'm so grateful for that. Daddy Zach, Mr. Zach Braff, he was really funny on set. He's the jokester of the family. After working with Mr. Zach Braff on Keeper Brother Dozen, he was on a show called Scrubs. So he gave me this pair of socks with his face on them. It's definitely the weirdest pair of socks I've ever gotten. They're adult socks, so they're like knee highs for me. Every time I walk in these, I always imagine Daddy Zach going, ow, 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 <laughs> Oh, so many socks! I love to play characters that inspire. If someone doesn't see themselves or their story on TV, I'd love to be that person who makes that change. Uh, these are all my socks, you know. I don't have that many socks, you know. It's totally normal how many socks. And it also brightens it up. Is that candy enough? I think this is candy enough. <laughs> Okay. I also like these pinks. See, pinks, of course, we always need pinks. Of course. I really like jumpsuits. First of all, it cuts down the time of getting dressed. You don't have to put your pants on, and then shirt, and tuck in the shirt. You just put it on, and then you're done. 